Hi, I would like to show you how easy it is to connect and use Mproc Thunderbench with the Atmel SAM3 Cortex M3 using the JLink JTAG Pro. Here we have the JTAG debug port using 20 pin header connected to JLink. The reset button. One user USB port. Power LED. Two user push buttons. An Atmel SAM3 Cortex M3 with 256K of flash. And finally, two LEDs that we will feature in our demo. With the board connected, I start Mproc Thunderbench development tool. Once inside the control center, I click on ready to use BSBs. Choose Atmel. Select the Olimex SAM3 kit. For this demo, we will choose the blinking LEDs application which demonstrates the basic use of the GPIO and SysStick. As the application code is being created into the workspace, Thunderbench will prompt us to select a JTAG probe. We will choose Seger JLink. Thunderbench will then create and build the project automatically. It is important to note that these BSPs are copied to your workspace. In this manner, you can modify the example without impacting the original code. There are two ways to launch the debugger and download the sample application. One way is that you can double click on the JLink debugger launch shortcut within the project directory or simply click on the debug button on the toolbar. At first run, Thunderbench will automatically ask to launch the proper JLink GDB server. I confirm yes. Here you have a chance to set or change the target device for the JLink GDB server if you need to. This is something you only need to do once with the very first debug session. The server will connect to your target board making it ready for debugging. I can now click on debug. The debugger will start and download the sample application into the Atmel SAM3 Cortex M3 board. The code will execute and breaks at a preset breakpoint in the debugger setup editor. It is set at the user main. Now let's execute and run the application on target. I switch to the board and show you the application running. You notice the blinking of the green and orange LEDs. If I push the left button, only the left green LED blinks. Push again, both LEDs go back to demo mode. If I push the right button, the right LED blinks. Push again and it goes back to demo mode. This shows how quickly I can get Thunderbench connected to start building my Atmel Cortex M3 project. When done, I click on terminate and exit. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.